It is almost hard to overstate the mess Washington finds itself in. Public trust in government is near an all-time low. That, according to the latest numbers from the Pew Research Center, finding that just 22% of Americans trust elected officials in Washington. No matter what you've been hearing, all the coverage about these midterm elections, the fact remains that, generally speaking, only four out of ten of you out there will actually go vote. I feel it's quite disturbing that our elected officials cannot come together to make decisions for the, in the best judgment of the people. And the fact that Congress can't do anything is a laughing stock anyway, so nobody has any faith in them to begin with. You seem to uh, suggest that somehow um, these folks over there have no responsibilities and that my job is to somehow get them to behave. That's their job. They are elected, members of Congress are elected, in order to do what's right for their constituencies and for the American people. But majorities in American politics don't have political traction. What matters are focused special interests. They bring tremendous intensity. So even though groups like the NRA may represent a, a significant minority, that's all it takes because they're willing to work 24-7 and put all their resources and all their money. And on issue after issue after issue, generally inclined majorities do not carry the day in American politics. That is the history. It's always focused minorities who are willing to make this the single issue on which their political behavior will rise and fall. What would Jefferson think about all of this, that we vote to send people to Washington to represent us, and many of them go to Washington and end up representing only small slices mm -hmm. of powerful people, powerful lobbies, whether it's the tax code, mm -hmm. whether it's gun legislation, no matter what it is, and the voice of the people, the feelings of the people are relegated to the back of the bus. What would Jefferson think? Right. This is the, some of the unintended consequences or the necessary evil, Madison would argue, of the system he created. Right. Because of Madison created uh, in checks and balances. Fa factions. Factions. He, he, he worried about, the founders worried about majorities running away with everything. Are, are you, you going, going to vote today? today? No, no, I don't, don't vote. vote. The, the elections, elections are all rigged. The, the system, system is rigged and broken. broken. Only four out of ten of you out there will actually go vote.